so we're at Uptown Gym, and I'm here with Stan, and uh, my name is Rory. I, I go way back. <laughs> I'm very fundamental in the way I work, all right? There's, the muscles only have certain purposes, and we work towards that purpose. And today we're gonna work triceps and biceps. The first time I ever was in a gym, I was about five years old. It was uh, in Sacramento. My dad used to drive a Harley. I'd sit on the back, we'd drive to the gym, and uh, it, that's where my world began. And I used to see my dad train, and I looked at him, and he was like 10 feet tall, 500 pounds, you know, he was a little boy. <laughs> and I was just mesmerized by muscles. Mm -hmm. I walked away from the sport one yeah. time, because it got to a place where it was just about size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe in definition, I don't believe in being shredded or ripped. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for over 50 years, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what I love about it is uh, the realization that what you put in, you get out. Mm -hmm. The artwork behind it, not just building, building to build. We make sure that you're polished, you're symmetrical, mm -hmm. you're balanced, and you have all body parts. Mm -hmm. Classic physique, you better, I believe, mm -hmm. have all body parts. Yeah. And if you don't have all body parts, continue to work. Mm -hmm. Genetic high or lows is not important because I think the human body is the most beautiful thing that, that God's ever created. Mm -hmm. When you step on stage next time, your stage presence is going to be a performance, yeah. a piece of artwork. Mm -hmm. And every pose you hit, people are going to be in awe with. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. But until we get there, we need to do the work. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Put your weight on the back of your hip. This here has just your balance point, right? Mm -hmm. Sitting on the back of your hip, pushing straight down. Put your weight on your hip. Pull the weight back. This, there should be no weight on, there, on this front leg. Put your uh, thumb around the bar like you own it. Bring your elbows alongside your body. Arc your chest. And push straight down towards the front of your foot. most important factor is breathing, okay? You want to inhale up towards your heart. You want to exhale away from your heart. The rhythm of your breathing is going to be the rhythm of the movement. There's a thing I always tell my students, each rep is a set, each set is a journey. You're behind the wheel, enjoy the drive. Every rep counts, all right? I want you to be in total control. Don't allow the amount of weight to start controlling you. Every exercise should be at the most difficult weight, but with complete control. If we're doing a motion and you fail in the motion, eventually you'll succeed. In those moments when I'm proving a weight, the competition's with myself. Not with you, with myself. <laughs> Hook into it. The head's always gonna find a way. Oh, it's getting heavy, it's getting heavy. Oh, you're getting out of wind. Your heart is where your passion is, all right? And that's where that spiritual year is. My heart knows beyond. Good. Now bring your elbows up towards the airline. Get as close to the ears as possible. Right there. There you go. This is a hammer machine. You can do close grip benches on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do a close grip bench this way, you can do it this way. And it's way for doing your back, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful for doing your triceps. Okay. Total control. See my elbow? Goes right along my rib box. Yeah. Fully extend. 
but without shooting the shoulder. A lot of times people will do this. Yeah. Don't. Full extension, full contraction. When your bicep's fully contracted, your tricep is fully extended. Mm -hmm. Inhale towards your heart, exhale. Appointment, right? And not trying, there's regret. Yeah. <laughs> Don't walk around in regret, right? You want to bring it up to your chest line. Here? Yes, and then you want to push outward. You want to work the, there you go, the long head of the tricep. Come down and push. Success is a journey. Do not settle and do not slough. As long as you got a breath of air, you got an opportunity. Learn the language. Learn the language of the tricep. Have a conversation with you. You're not a tourist anymore. It's a part of you. Like you're, like you're skiing, put all the weight on the upper part of your thigh, yep. countersink with your rump. You're going to stretch one arm and you're going to curl it. Mm. Sweet. Elbow stays up. Okay. Good. Here? Yep. Good. Let me see this one. Okay. There you go. Good. So you keep it in your finger? Yeah, just let it sit. So you fully flex the tricep, lock it, lock it, mm -hmm. and then curl into it. Full extension, full contraction. You're behind the driver's seat of those sets. It becomes a dance. You get, you become more rhythm. As I, and life is a rhythm. Life is a dance. Learn to dance. You'll start to enjoy your life. Good. Let's 
greatest, the most spiritual sound you'll ever hear is your heartbeat. And if you can connect with your heart while you're training, there's no stopping you. Good, stretch. Stretch over there before you curl. Elbow up on that one. Stretch, elbow up, lock it down. This is the most personalized sport there is. It's just you against you. You either work from the heart or you work from the mind. You work from the mind, you've already retired at my age. You work from the heart, you get up every day and kick your heels in glory that God has given you today. What are you gonna make out of it? Awesome. Very good. Real good. Hopefully you learned something today. Yeah, I did. That's awesome. I really had a good time. Thank you. I really did. Nice talking to everybody. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed this morning. And uh, God willing, we'll do this again sometime. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.